Why is it that when a woman decides to find God, chooses to lean more into her faith, publicly especially, the first thing that you guys say is, oh, she's trying to find a husband. Do you know how misogynistic that sounds? Do you know how judgmental, quite frankly, that sounds? Not everything's about a man. <laughs> Truly. People have their come to Jesus moment or come to God moment for different reasons. For me, I encountered evil up close and personal. I encountered pedophilia in LA up close and personal. And it scarred me so badly that I had to rush towards the light. Okay? Everyone has a different reason. And for you guys to reduce it to, oh my God, she just wants to be, wants to find a husband. Or she went from a baddie to a Christian girly. is so nonsensical, but speaks more about you than it does about that person who's trying to find their faith and doing it publicly and unabashedly. Why isn't that same scrutiny placed on men who find God? Do you know how many guys I know become an imam? turn to Islam in their 30s and their 40s because they probably encountered evil themselves. For you to say, oh, it's because she wants to find a husband, that is you having internal misogyny and leaning all the way into patriarchy. Women can find God on their own for whatever reason. And what's so funny is that this has, ha this has happened for generations. Everyone who knows that auntie, you know, who was out there probably wild a little bit and one day just becomes a Jesus freak, as you guys like to call it. But it is her right, her prerogative to find God, whichever way she chooses to find God. It is not your place to police anyone's spiritual awakening. We're all going to encounter God. Everybody. Nobody dies an unbeliever. It might happen for you at 15, 20, 25, 30, 50, on your deathbed. But you will have that encounter. And you can choose to do whatever you want with that encounter. But for you to pull it, I saw someone who's like, oh my God, I'm super Christian, but I hate all these new Christian girls. Who are you? <laughs> Who are you to decide when we can and cannot come into the faith? Your God? You might want to check yourself. In lieu of being cynical and policing someone's spirituality, why not celebrate whatever gets them peace? Brittany Renner is a great example of someone who I celebrate. Every time I see her video on TikTok, I celebrate her, you know, because we all know she was one of the baddies who had a very sexually explicit lifestyle on social media. And now she's a Muslim. And she's, she's a hijabi. I was a hijabi when I was a teenager. And every time I see her videos, I say, Alhamdulillah, and I celebrate her. I don't care how you get to God, just get to God. And I'm so proud of her. I say all that to say, judging girls who turn to God abruptly or anyone who turns to God abruptly without you knowing what caused them, what trauma they might have experienced to do that abrupt change in their life says more about you than it says about them. Let's give people a chance to grow, to heal, to find peace, whichever way they can. Judgment doesn't bring people closer to God. Love does. And for the record, finding her husband, okay, honey, I have tried. It will cost you your edges. Look at my edges. They're back to being full because I'm not looking for a husband. Okay, he's got to find me because a man who finds a wife finds a good thing. So let's all mind the salvation that pays us. I believe in you, and I pray you always believe in yourself. Stay fabulous. Bye.